so it's a small town Texas. You know, everybody knows everybody. Um, town has 5,000 people. A lot of the guys who work out here are guys I grew up with. Um, some are lifelong friends. Some are guys that I went to high school with and I've known forever. I was from, came from healthcare, so this was something out of the norm for me. She was here probably four months before I came out, emailing me, calling me, texting me, telling me, hey, you need to give me your resume. Um, you need to come out here. It's very family oriented and came out here and from the very first moment, I just knew that this is where I wanted to be. I've seen him since he's been little and seeing him growing up to be a man, you know, leading the group, letting them know what things to do, what not to do, and you know, it's pretty awesome, you know, seeing basically me and him. Over the last year, I've shared our journey as we built this 400 megawatt expansion at Riot's facility here in Rockdale, Texas. To think, in December of 2017, my son Ashton and I started mining Bitcoin. And over the course of time, with a small core group of people, we have built this company that has become this amazing place, a sense of home. But today, rather than me tell you about it, I'd like you to hear it from them. So we were at Riot Windstones Data Center in Rockdale, Texas. Uh, when I first started out here, I worked in inventory, um, went over to the minor installation team, uh, worked my way up to assistant supervisor, uh, working with the data center technicians, doing uh, minor installation, cabling, uh, and then worked my way up to director of operations. Uh, Heath is uh, my first cousin. Kind of uh, known him my whole life, you know, his whole life. As I was pitching, he was uh, my first baseman and my outfielder. And as he was pitching, you know, I, I held up his end, you know, I played first base for him, you know, so I'm happy for him. He's got a new baby. The family's growing, so. Hi, my name is Kim Huber and I work in the accounting department. Yes, I work with my little sister, Colleen, and uh, we love it. We have a great time. I share an office with my sister, Kim. Um, it's very fun, very um, crazy at times, but we tend to work very well together. My job position is overseeing uh, my group in the construction area. I'm one of the lead assistant supervisor lead. When I come in, I get my crew prepared, ready for what we're gonna start our day with. We get our tools, just head out to the job site, and get it done, you know, having fun as the day goes along. We work on the manifolds. We attach the pumps, outside pumps, to the coolers, top to bottom. We make sure everything's tightened. We're picking up our pumps. They just got delivered. We carefully check them, make sure that they're correctly the way that, you know, that fits for our systems and everything. Everyone's doing the construction thing, trying to get things done as quickly and as efficient as they can, you know. Very big growing opportunity is a great community. And, uh, great atmosphere. I was so glad for the position that came open and mentioned it to her. One, I wanted her to have an opportunity like I've had for the past almost a year. And um, we work so well together. We joke, we play, but when we do work, we work together and we solve things. We solve them together, we work it through. We all were going through tough times when jobs weren't available in our local community. Now we have that availability and to be able to bring in family members that you can trust is to help build that camaraderie to help us become as efficient as possible. I would want any of my family members to have the opportunities that I have to come work out here. As to see him grow, see him get better into the future, you know, because they're our future leaders, you know. I would say, why wouldn't you invite your family member? You would want somebody to come out here and to be a part of this. Just all these new opportunities, new machinery that I get to drive, all kinds of stuff. Yes, most of my crew has uh, joined together. They picked up themselves up. They help each other out, you know. Whenever the need arises, they are more of a family. Being able to see fathers, sons, mothers, daughters, uh, being able to be out here and work together and knowing that 
the job that they have out here is helping provide not only for them but for the rest of their family, that's the ultimate goal. Family just keeps growing here. It never stops. Uh, we currently have seven buildings that are built out. Uh, each building is about 60 feet wide by a little over 1,000 feet in length with our air-cooled facilities. Our liquid immersion buildings are about 800 feet in length. But just seeing it being built and seeing it being put up the way it's supposed to be and it starts to run, it's just amazing how this stuff is running. You know, it just it brought my attention to more of the technology part of it now. Oh, I love it. It's amazing knowing that there's something out here this big, close to such small towns. It gives us more opportunity as a younger generation. You know, it gives us opportunity to become good workers. Building A, we did that in 187 days. Being able to hit those timelines, uh, do things like that, that's all based off of our communication, making sure that we have the materials needed, making sure that the miners are getting received properly. So many, so many areas that you can excel in and try to gain a career in. It's, it's really beneficial to someone that's trying to up and come. This is something new and growing and extremely interesting. I had dinner with my girlfriends from school and they were all just throwing questions at me like, can we come out and see it? You know, they were really excited. Of course, then I had a few, so what job openings do they have? <laughs> We have electricians, I mean, you have minor maintenance. The pump crew, to our EVAP team, to landscaping. To custodian jobs, I mean, even office personnel. I mean, there's jobs for anybody, for any type of person that could come out at Windstone. I mean, everything has to be specialized because we are getting so big. And uh, the only way we're gonna stay as efficient as possible is to have those specialized crews. I'm just happy to see how much we've accomplished as a team, how closely we've grown together. Bringing this from, like Dad said, nothing to something. Now, look at this. Winstone has changed me so much. Uh, it's made me a better communicator. It's made me a better leader. It's made me better at time management. Um, in the mentorship that I've had from different individuals out here, um, that's stuff I can take and use for the rest of my life. Changed me to be a better person, a happier person, much more positive person. Being able to work with my sister, of course, that's the main number one, makes me happier. Um, the benefits outweigh everything. It taught me responsibility. It taught me how to work on my attitude, get along with more people, open up to more people, become more social. I became a better person just in general, all in all, you know, changing the attitudes, working well with others, you know, it helped me become a better person from inside the workplace and outside the workplace as well. I love waking up every day, coming out to Winstone and working with the people I get along with, you know, they're like family. Me personally, I like what I do. I love what I do. Like there's no other place that I would want to be right now. This is the first job I've ever had where I enjoy coming to work every day. Yes, we're tired because we are working round the clock, but that's going to be given in any job. Uh, this is the first job where I actually enjoy coming to work. I love being here and sometimes I don't even realize it, but it's time to go. and. <laughs> The culture out here with the people that we have, it's definitely a, a job that, you know, you don't realize you lose track of time because we're so busy, but yeah, I love coming to work. A father and son start mining Bitcoin to solve a problem. And then a small team of four come to Rockdale, Texas to build this amazing facility. And we knew our success depended on acting in the best interest of one another, like a family of responsibility. And that culture lives and breathes in the walls of these buildings here in Rockdale. That culture today is Riot.